Morpheus, your blood a warriors for me as a scorpion, Dr. Kavala. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Rebellion 28 continues with fight number 13. Five by three minute rounds in the super featherweight division. This next fight, sponsored by Keeney Formwork. And this one is for the WBC Super Featherweight title. Coming to us first, out of the blue corner, please welcome Gianpaolo Sicario Iacabino. Godfather being strummed on the electric guitar as we await the entrance of the dark horse, the Italian Giampaolo Iacopino. Fighting out of the aptly named Don Miller's super fight gym. The Southpaw backing wild fighter jolts and bolts around the ring. And listen to the chant. The Irish, the Italians in song here at Rebellion. His opponent fighting out of the red corner, Connor Sampson Goodman! soccer crowd inside here. It's the 
Society World Cup all over again. My goodness. It is definite. I've never seen so many Irish flags to our left here flying in the audience. Will we even be able to hear John O'Allman's introductions over this Irish crowd? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Rebellion 28 proudly brings to you five by three minute rounds, sponsored by Keeney Fulwick in the Super Featherweight Division. This fight is for the WBC Super Featherweight State Title. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man presents a fight record of 13 fights for eight wins. Two coming my way on knockout. Train at the Super Fight Gym in St. Kilda with Don Miller in the corner. Please welcome to the Rebellion Giampaolo Sicario Iacopino! And now, his opponent, fighting out of the right corner! This man presents a fight record of eight fights for seven wins. Waikou Ramboy. It's Italy versus Ireland in fight three of Rebellion 28 and the Irishman two years the younger. The experience goes the way of the Italian Jacopino. He's got eight wins and two knockouts in 13 pro fights. This one is definitely going to be a barn burner. A lot of excitement behind this fight. Connor Goodman bringing in a huge crowd. You can hear them shouting out loud for the Irish fighter who migrated to Australia about a decade ago. Started fighting Muay Thai. Works in construction. round for the WBC State Championship between Jacopino and Connor Goodman. 
Southpaw versus Orthodox for this one. Jacopino coming off a win, knockout win in his last fight here at Rebellion. I mentioned how it sounds like a football crowd in here tonight. The Italian and the Irish fans in the FIFA World Cup tradition. They stand at one win apiece. Italy got them in 1990, courtesy of Scalacci. In 94 in the USA, of course, it was the Irish in the group stage, courtesy of Ray Houghton, who beat the Italians at Giant Stadium in New York. Beautiful catch and sweep early on there from Goodman. Yeah, and we know that this is Muay Thai, but things are about to kick off. Both athletes looking very strong and determined. Early slips from both. Jakobin has a bit of an unorthodox style to him. Nice slip there from him. Just dodging out of the way of Goodman, who is built like a tank. And he's practiced enough to have more than a few lucky shots. He still needs to edge himself in here, Goodman. Nice left hand down the tube there from Jacopino. The Italian wearing the Italian Aturi colors on his trunks. Thought about the lead leg. Thought about the rear leg round kick. Goes the lead leg to the outside thigh. Misses. Goodman comes forward. Jacopino cracks a round kick. Caught the forearm. Counters up the round kick of Goodman with the left hand. Yeah, the, play, the game plan for Jacopino is pretty simple. He's going to try and boot off that rear hand of Goodman. Just constantly attack with that left kick. Beautiful southpaw kick, which, oof. Goodman needs to be tougher than a $2 stake here. What Goodman needs to do out of his orthodox stance against the southpaw is get his lead foot on the outside of Jacopino's lead foot. That will enable public enemy number one of the southpaw, the straight right cross. <laughs> Jabs coming again here from Goodman. Maybe trying to set up his big tub thumper. That being the right hand of the Irishman. Goes the outside lead leg. Oof. Good round kick off the back leg there from Jacopino. Another one to the forearms. And Goodman showing he's tough, but how tough is he? Is he as tough as that $2 stake? Can he wear all these attacks from Jacopino? You know, the crowd very, very silent as Jacopino blasts out that southpaw kick, cooking Goodman. Matt Lucas, too many mentions of $2 stakes. When you come to Australia next time, brother, I'm going to take you to a decent restaurant. You're going to have to make that promise, Michael. And what a fight this has been so far. Electrifying crowd. Italy versus Ireland for the WBC State Championship. One down, four remaining. And this promises to be a very, very exciting fight. You can hear it with the crowd. Jacopino with a very dominant first round. Just a bit more patient, had the range has the timing and the power. There he's cooking Goodman's ribs here. Matt, amazing scenes inside the sold out Melbourne Pavilion. The entire crowd surrounding us on this side of the ring are waving, I counted at least 30 Irish fans. The Irish fans going absolutely bananas tonight. And when the bell recommences to sound the second round, they're going to go nuts again. Folks, wherever you are watching this one on Fox Sports, you've got to be enjoying Muay Thai, all the eight weapons of the ancient art of Thailand. And you're back in the Italian or you're back in the Irishman. Either way, it's a cracking fight. Yeah, no one's getting back up for this second round of action. It's going to be all forward all the time. I'm excited about this. You can hear it. Don Miller there in the corner instructing Acapino, telling him to blast out that left kick. Goodman look, looking very fired up. He's got a bigger heart than the Guinness factory. <laughs> for round two. Second round set for five. WBC state championship on the line. Southpaw stance on Jacopino in the blue. Goodman edges forward. A little stiff on the hands, though. Needs to loosen up the arms. A little loosen the shoulders, does Goodman. Step across the outside thigh kick from the Irishman. Hook to a right cross. Good 3-2 combination. Step through knee. Into elbow range now. Knees off the 
ropes from Jacopino. Fires a left round kick. Yeah, Jacopino doing a great job utilizing his length. You know, it looks like his limbs are as long. Oh, oh he's turned him. That's yeah. south of the border. Yeah. Oh, it's a count, yeah. not a groin strike. Yeah, I mean, I I'm think that sure might have been a groin shot. We'll see well, it in the replay. Jacopino claiming a groin shot. Let's have a look here. Yeah, yeah, you got time, man. The high knee there. I think, it, I, I think it was a shot to the six o'clock. Yeah, I think it was a shot to the groin. Yeah. Italian Stalin there. Well, you know what, being Italian, there's a big target area there, Matt. Yeah, but right back into it, raring to go. Fakes there from Jacopino. You can see the game plan here of Goodman. Can't you in the second round? Get on the inside and bang with the hands. Yeah, and I think that's great planning. He just needs to be careful of Jacopino's ability to maintain range and distance. High left round kick from Jacopino. Goodman trying to get on the inside again to work the leather. Oh. Rocks the head back. Smack bang with the left hand. Yeah, but just like Samuel Bielen in that last bout, he needs to maintain that punching range. He can't fall into the clinch. Otherwise, Jacopino is going to bash him up with those knees. Jacopino resets, launches the left cross. High left round. That being the power side of the southpaw. Hook to the clinch from Goodman. Knees to the midsection from Jacopino. There's one from Goodman to the liver section. Oh, beautifully snaked through with that right arm. And Goodman doing a great job standing right in front of him, showing off some of that Samson-like fortitude. Good front kick extension there from Goodman. Jacopino returns the favor. The Italian shakes out the legs. Referee says, are you OK? Yeah, you saw Jacopino adjust his groin guard. Could be some residual effect from that groin strike earlier on, accidental from Goodman. Goodman three-punch combination misses. Jacopino may still be in a little discomfort, but he's pressing on here, the Italian. 40 seconds remaining, good inside thigh kick to that femoral profunda. Body shot to a left hook, moves in the clinch range now, does Goodman. Oh, good nice right right hand. He's snaking it through, like threading it through the eye of the needle, is Connor Goodman. Yeah, Goodman doing a good job in that punching range. And it looks like Jacopino might have had some power drained from him. Potentially that shot to the midsection. And you hear the crowd. High left round kick from Jacopino. Final seconds of the round. We go to the towers after two. My goodness. Matt Lucas, your thoughts, your scorecard. $25,000 first prize. That was a very, very entertaining second round. And I think actually that groin shot changed the game a bit as Jacopino started to back up a bit more. He could have taken more time. Here's a replay of that shot. I thought Yeah, it looked like just above the groin guard. So you get to see some of the action again. That's a huge, huge heart on Connor Goodman. And the ability to drink up the punishment, snapping back the head of Picapano there. You know, taking up more punishment than an Irishman can take up beers at a pub. That's a lot. That's a lot of punishment. <laughs> Oh, well, third round coming up. There's the Irish contingent. They have turned out by the droves tonight. Yeah, and mentally, that's got to be amazing for Goodman to have that crowd support behind him. You know, I, and on close bouts, these small things, or in this case, a large contingent of Irish fans can sway things your way. Seconds out. Oh, round three. Third round of five.
today for the WBC State Championship. Giampaolo Jacopino in the blue. Connor Goodman in the red. Goodman looking to get on the inside. Bang to the body, go to the jaw with the hands. Outside leg kick. There's a straight right down the centre corridor. Nice guard against the high round kick from Jacopino. Knees from both men. Jacopino pushes him off the ropes. Fires a two punch combination. Sweat floor off the brow of Goodman. The inside lead thigh of Jacopino has been tenderized from the back leg inside leg kicks of Goodman. Goes there again, does Connor Goodman. Yeah, and oh, Jacopino taking a hard hook there from Goodman. And he returns the favor. Another one from Goodman. And Jacopino does a quick count of his teeth. Yeah, I'm not sure how many he has, but I'm sure he has to go to the dentist after receiving some of these hard punches from Goodman. Goodman steps in again. A hook there from Jacopino. Another uh -oh. glancing blow to the groin. Yeah, it seems like we'll have to look at some of the replays on that. Sometimes fighters can play at groin shots as a stalling technique. It's definitely what Goodman's corner thinks, or Goodman's fans think. It's also southpaw versus orthodox. These clashes do happen. Back into the action, third round of five. Front kicks down to the leg, and that one to the groin there from Connor Goodman. And Jacopino saying, what are you doing? Either keep him low or keep him up. Launches with the left hand there, does Jacopino. Checks the low kick, it was a solid one from Goodman. Yeah, Goodman the, with the left hook, look for the right hand afterwards. The legs of Jacopino are starting to go here. You see in the way he's moving, the legs are locked up. If Goodman's able to continue to attack those legs, I think it might be all over for Jacopino. Goodman following him around the ring. Turned the knuckles in on the right hand, did the Irishman, fires out a front kick, creates some distance. Jacopino rallies. Goodman on the inside again, glancing left, moves to a clinch and knee. Inside thigh kick, counter left, step through knee, right hand. Nice combination work from Giampaolo Jacopino. Yeah, great action here in this third round. I'm not sure if it's going to go all five, and I'm not sure which way it's going to go either. So nice inside leg kick there from Goodman. Goes to the outside leg, caught the knee. Jacopino goes high. Trying to break down the forearms of Goodman. Goodman on the inside now. Chance for the elbows, chance for the knees. And we're seeing a lot of reddening on that arm of Goodman as Jacopino continues to bash away at it. I think Goodman really needs to target that inside leg at this point. Just a few seconds left here in this third round. Beautiful knees there from Jacopino. Good extension on the knees, thrust the waist out behind them, did Jacopino. Step across the outside, oh, oh. thigh kick. Goodman returned the favor. Checks the low kick. Jacopino tried to count with an uppercut. Two punch combination from Goodman. Jacopino turns it. We're going three, into the four. So we'll get to see some of the replays in just a moment. But that leg of Jacopino's demolished. Oh, hard hook there from Goodman. Showing the goods. Jacopino, no slouch though. Beautiful southpaw kick there from him. He had some great moments, Jacopino. Complaining about the low blow there, accidental. And you see that's where Jacopino stumbled and a clear sign of damage. The Irish crowd getting behind Goodman. As we go into the fourth round of action.
second down. in this WBC state championship fight. And Goodman comes on strong early. Gotta watch out for the groin strikes though. There were three of them in the third round. If he does another one this fourth, he may very well go home tonight and find a horse's head <laughs> under the sheets in his bed. <laughs> right hand, double right, step through knee coming. There it is from Jacopino. Yeah, showing you still the godfather of Muay Thai here. A powerful left body kick. Goodman needs to go back to that leg kick. Something his corner was telling him to say, kick off on that leg. Oh, beautiful nice. body kick. Jab. Oh. Roundhouse kick off the back leg there from Jacopino. Nice kick teeth to the lead leg. Thrust out the jab to a high left round. The Southpaw Italian takes an inside thigh kick. That Goodman looking like he's starting to fade a bit. He's a, can, oh. oh, beautifully done. Rock the head back in again. The power left hands of Jacopino. He backs off oh. Goodman. I step through knee from the Irishman. Yeah, that slowed down Jacopino's forward fold. And you see Jacopino stall for a moment. His hands low. Push off there, trying to get space. Jacopino jumping, bolting around the ring. Wild attacks there from Jacopino. Jacopino backs him off again with the left hand. Goodman goes after him now. I still want to see Goodman go after that leg. He needs to really boot it off. I think he's just getting a bit distracted here, Goodman. Jacopino. Was looking for an elbow, trying to step through. There he goes off the left and a high left round from Jacopino. Goodman needs to turn the knuckles in on the left hook. Jacopino's been backing him off with that straight left cross. Beautiful knee. Lovely trajectory into the midsection of Goodman. Yeah, Goodman has done a good job of pressing in, but Jacopino still has power. He's jumping, he's bolting, he's attacking. And you hear the crowd roar. The Italian doing a lumberjack job now in the back leg here of Goodman. Now goes the front leg. Goodman returns the favor. Jacopino's leg getting tenderized. You can see Goodman looking down at that leg. Big body. It's the right leg of Jacopino. The oh. third. Goodman goes there again. Oh. Beautiful two punch combination. Into the clinch. Good knee there from Goodman. Jacopino dumped like yesterday's garbage, and when he got up, he looked like absolute rubbish. <laughs> what a round. This place is electrified, Matt Lucas. Yeah, an amazing crowd getting behind Connor Goodman. Shouts of ole, ole, ole. And we'll see all that action here. Great cross there from Jacopino. He had some very, very strong moments. But so did the Fighting Irish. Ton of hard pupils step up knee from him. You see Jacopino getting a bit wild here. Both of these athletes are going to need to dig real deep for this final round of action. I think he could go either way still. So a massive crowd here at Rebellion 28, some international Muay Thai, Ireland versus Italy.
decide who will be the WBC Victorian champion. Iacopino opens up with a kicking arsenal. And this is the type of tactics that Iacopino needed to be using right from the off. Just kick and move, keep Goodman at bay. Iacopino, more kick than a chorus line here in the fifth and final round. Nicely off the left leg. And the Italian's got to get off the ropes. He does now, goes clockwise, fires a high kick again. Goodman still wanting to dance with him. Still pressing in. Tied up in the clinch, but Iacopino, he's got more kicks like a chorus line, then he's also got more moves than Fred Astaire. Oh, you're on fire tonight, Matt Lucas. You are on fire. iacopino has been working that back leg, now goes the damage inside thigh of Goodman. Goes upstairs again. Iacopino changing levels off that back leg. Goodman closes the distance, gets on the inside, charge to the knees and elbows. There's the knee from Iacopino. Oh! Forward from Goodman and Iacopino, quick trip to the canvas. Yeah, but that score, well, it scores well. It's not the penultimate, but it can mentally deflate a fighter, which it looks like it might have deflated Iacopino here. Just being smashed in the canvas, Goodman could come back. High kick again from Iacopino. The Irish flags are flying, trying to rally their man, Connor Goodman. to the ground like a rainbow and that was a real pot of gold for the lucky Irish fighter as we go into the final minute of this action-packed five-round bell for the WBC state title solid check downstairs not that one though from Iacopino the Italian comes forward step through knee high left round there from Iacopino jab two to a hook nice punching combination from Connor Goodman then goes the hamstring area of the lead leg of the southpaw. Iacopino has been working that real leg round kick of his over time this final round. Oh. Looks like he's out of breath here. Iacopino glances up at the big screen. He sees the 25 seconds remaining. Goodman coming on strong in the final straight. The final stretch. Yeah, and you saw when Iacopino looked at that clock, it was whacked with Goodman's hard hands. Just a few seconds left. Final 10 seconds now. This place about to melt down. Iacopino, one last kick from the Italian. What an ovation for two amazing warriors. And what a fight. to celebrate. Great display of Muay Thai. Both athletes, huge hearts, as big as their countries. We'll get to see some of the replays. Jacopino started off very, very strong, blasting out that beautiful left kick, bang, bang. But then Goodman ended with a sweep that just turned the fight around. They're cutting into the lead leg. There's that sweep. It was a pot of gold for the lucky Irish fella. <laughs> I want to point out, you said that their hearts are as big as their countries. That is so American of you to say that, because technically Italy and Ireland, very small countries, Matt Lucas, very small. Well, America Unless you're referring to them both being Aussies, really, then, yeah, OK, you can get away with it. Well, America is very big. <laughs> So that might have something to do with it as well. <laughs> but you are right. Tremendous heart shown by both men. And I love the sportsmanship here, the, the professional and personal respect between Iacopino and Goodman. Yeah, I think both groups of fans, Italians and Irish, can be very, very happy with their countrymen and their performances. So, I was very surprised that this did not stop before the final bell. Both of these guys went all in, pushed all the chips in, and we get to see who the winner is in just a moment. Okay, with the decision, let's go to Geno Almond. Ladies and gentlemen, 
after five rounds of super featherweight action, we have gone to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have rendered their decision a unanimous one, declaring this fight 49-46, 49-46, and 48-47 in favour of, and declaring the winner and WBC featherweight state champion from the Blue